Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a repair tech with AME International, and this is your Maintenance Minute. What we have here is an AME 15925 quart pump. Um, there's different sizes uh, and reservoir styles of these pumps, but they all work basically the same. Uh, your air comes in, runs the piston, picks up fluid. The fluid goes to the hose and goes out to your tool. Um, these are used with bead breakers, rams, um, high capacity lifting uh, cylinders, like 55 ton, 100 ton rams. Um, a lot of times these are in the back of the truck, they might get tipped over on their side or they're on the ground, they get knocked over and what will happen is some air will get in the uh, pickup tube and that'll create what they call an airlock. So you'll operate the pump and it's not moving any fluid, not building up any pressure. These are usually relatively easy, quick fix in the fields. Um, all you have to do is hold the pedal in the release position take a screwdriver or another tool so you can activate the button to run the air motor. You can just do that for a few seconds, five seconds or so. And that, as you can hear, it took the air out, dumped it back into the reservoir, and now you only had hydraulics. And when I reactivated the pump, it pumped up the pressure like it should. Um, so if you ever run across that in the field, that's a quick, easy fix. All you need is a screwdriver or even a pair of pliers, anything you can stick under the pedal to activate the air button while holding it in release. And this has been your Maintenance Minute. My name is Mike from AME International. If you have any questions, please call the office at 352-799-1111 or email us at repairs at ameintl.net. If you like this video, please click below and see you next time on your next Maintenance Minute.